that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about? It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. It broke me, and I'm just trying to put me back together. Lil Wayne has reacted and responded to the fact that he was not chosen to perform at the Super Bowl 2025, and he gets emotional. This is Fresh Hair Pop Opinion with your guy Olize. Don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, people, Wayne has broken his silence about not being chosen as the Super Bowl performer in 2025 in his city, New Orleans. And he gets emotional, like I said. We've seen reactions from a lot of people, a lot of artists, some siding with him and some not. But here it is from the man himself, his voice, Lil Wayne. Check it out. There's your your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when when I try to fall back. Um that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about, it hurt a whole lot. Um I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that 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 spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um so it hurt. I hurt a whole lot. Um but y'all y'all amazing. It made me feel like not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like you guys reminded me that I ain't without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me and I'm just trying to put me back together, but my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, and my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me. And I'm working. So, thank you. Yeah, fam. You got a feel for Lil Wayne. You basically looking like a little child that's been disciplined. No biscuits for you, kid. He looking like someone just lost their job. He looking like somebody that went downstairs to see the Christmas tree and there was no presents. But on a serious note, he said he blamed himself. For assuming that he would be chosen he kind of put it in his mind already that he will be performing at the show the legendary halftime show maybe he even felt because he has a good relationship with jay-z that this would be his time but it's kendrick's time he was bigging up his fans for the support i guess he must have got a lot of warm messages and condolences that he didn't get at the gig he felt that he let his fans down so yeah you gotta feel sorry for him just looking at his body language he was very disappointed almost with a shaky voice but he held it together but i ain't gonna lie there's a part of me that feels like this is all a bit too extra because as soon as wayne doesn't get the call that he's a super bowl halftime performer he could just reach out to kendrick and say hey care to share the stage with me or he could probably just use his own common sense and feel like of course kendrick will reach out because i think him and kendrick have a good relationship as well but this whole thing of going to the internet to express how you're feeling the disappointment just seems a bit overly dramatic for all we know they might have had wayne part of the plans but i guess maybe wayne wants to be the guy not kendrick's guest he wants to be the guy and then wayne invites guests on the stage everyone seems to be blaming jay-z for this just because he's a hip-hop head in the rock nation and he's involved in the decision making academics and drake fans seem to be super pushing that narrative recently boosie went off 
about the decision of Wayne not being chosen. And academics replied to Boosie saying this, I feel you Boosie, Jay-Z just don't F with y'all ninjas like that. Ain't no conspiracy. He made the decisions. You think a Cali ninja could ever headline a Super Bowl in New York where he from? See, academics, yeah, he's just stirring that pot. But all this controversy has got me thinking. All this bad reaction to Kendrick getting the halftime show. I wonder, will Kendrick decline performing? I don't think he will, but it's getting to that point that he may just feel like, hey, you know what? The fans have spoken and Wayne should get the show. It'd be kind of cool, actually. And then Kendrick comes out for it as well. But maybe I'm dreaming. But I do wonder where does this narrative come from that Jay-Z is hating on Wayne or Drake or Birdman. Because it wasn't too long ago Jay-Z put out this statement. Some people felt his statement was a shot at Drake. Kendrick Lamar is truly a once in a generation artist and performer. His deep love for hip hop and culture informs his artistic vision. He has an unparalleled ability to define and influence culture globally. Kendrick's work transcends music and his impact will be felt for years to come. Now, some people felt like that was a shot at Drake because he's saying that Kendrick's music transcends the music industry, whatever that means. But I think that's a reach. I don't think he's shooting at anybody. I think he's just paying homage to how great Kendrick is. But yeah, Wayne has responded. Everybody's been waiting and we got it. I want to know what you think. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It's fresh here, pop opinion. Peace and love. As your your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about. It hurt a whole lot. Um. I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown and for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that, but I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And, um, so it hurt. It hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, y'all are amazing. It made me feel like not getting this this opportunity. And when I felt like you guys reminded me that I ain't without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me, and I'm just trying to put me back together, but my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, even my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me and I'm working.